First, you need to know what is the best camera to use. 2023, new year, new me. That rhymed. I hate when people say that. This is the year that you are finally going to start your content creation and start putting it out to the masses to grow your brand, your business, whatever it is, this is the year. But first you need to know what is the best camera to use. And I'm gonna help you out with that. Now, most people going into it of video creation and content creation, you think you need this amazing camera in order to get these amazing shots and to do all these cool things, but that's that's completely false. Now, I'm guilty of this as well. When I started out vlogging, I would look to Casey Neistat, who is pretty much like the king of YouTube vlogging, vlogging every single day for months. He he's he's just amazing to me. And I would look to see the type of equipment that he had because I thought that if I had his equipment, then my videos would be cool like his. And that's 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 not really it. That's not really it. You see, I didn't need that thousand dollar camera that he had with the microphone and, and the tripod and all the side lenses that he would use and the carrying pouch. I didn't need all that. I really found out the best camera. You might want to listen to this. The best camera to use is the one that you already have. Your phone. Your phone is the very best camera that you can use. And here's why. Everyone has a phone. Everyone has a phone. Phones now, the quality is so good that you can't even, you can't really distinguish a higher end quality camera versus something that's shot on an iPhone or a brand new Android. I mean, maybe some, maybe professionals can, but most people, they don't really care. They just wanna look at something that looks good. That's the only difference. I'm gonna give you some quick pros and cons. Pros to just using your phone. You already have it. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You semi know how it works. You don't have to add on an extra carrying case. You don't need all these different cords and memory cards, different lenses, different anything like that. It's super light. You can just pick, put it in your pocket and pull it out, Bow, shoot whenever you're ready to shoot. That's the pros. Cons. There really aren't any cons <laughs> for, I mean, just for making regular content, there aren't any cons. Another pro is you don't have to worry about some of the, the functions that professionals have to worry about when using those higher end cameras, like uh, your bit rate, your frame rate, your white balance, your focal length, your depth of field. You don't really have to worry about those things because your phone does it for you. It automatically adjusts to whatever you want it to look at or whatever you want in focus. The quality of the sound is gonna be good as well. I don't, the only thing I shoot on is just an iPhone with a lens and that's it. I don't have a microphone, I don't need it. I really don't need it, you can hear me just fine. And I know I sound good. If I was going to say buy anything, I would probably say buy a tripod, which you can get at Walmart, you can buy it on Amazon. You can probably even get it at a 7-Eleven. Tripods are just so, just out here now. You, you pick it up anywhere, pick it up anywhere. Another thing I would say use is a wide angle lens. Now you don't have to, because a lot of phones come with the option to switch between just a regular length and then a wide angle in order to see more of the picture. And that's all a wide angle is. So if you're a chef and you're cooking up meals and you have your recipes and you wanna show how you're preparing everything, you might want a wide angle lens unless you have just a massive kitchen. Most people have regular size kitchens. So throw that wide angle on in order to show more of the kitchen, show more of your prep work, more of how you're sauteing, cutting, whatever it is. Get a wide angle. This one I got from Moment Lens. I'll link it down below. And it was about $80. It might be on sale now. This is very cheap, very cheap, but it comes in handy. Like even right now, if I took this angle off, it would shrink down. And you wouldn't be able to see everything that's in my background, but I like it. It adds more to, I don't know, I guess the feel of the video. The same phone that you spend hours scrolling through Instagram, scrolling through TikTok, just wasting time, you can use that same phone to end up making you money in the long run. Just use your phone. Most phones come equipped with a very high definition camera that can shoot 4K. And if they can't shoot 4K, that's fine. 1080p is just fine. Most people can't even tell the difference between 1080p and 4K. Your cell phone, I have three of them right here. These are your best bets. Even these are like, this is an iPhone 6 and this is a 4. Even these can shoot high definition videos. And some of these vlogs that I've shot, I've used 
these older phones. So you don't need the latest Samsung Galaxy S23, the new Note 13, the new iPhone 1000. You don't need that. Whatever you're watching this on, because most people watch videos on their phones anyway, you can use this same phone to start making content. I'm an Android user. Like this is my daily go-to phone is an Android, but I shoot on an iPhone. I mean, there's really no reason why I could shoot on this, but I just use this to talk. So I don't want to stop talking or stop what I'm doing in order to shoot content sometimes. So that's why I just have two different phones. The reason why I say start with your phone is because I don't want you to spend money on a bigger camera when you don't even know how to utilize the functions that are on your, your regular phone every day. Your regular phone has so many different just functions and uh, what is, what's the word I'm looking for? Your phone has so many different capabilities to just unlock your talent and the, the look that you're trying to go through. And you don't even know that because you've never even just taken the time, sat down and figured out what your phone can do. So it's, instead of going out and buying a $700 camera, figure out what your phone can do because I'm pretty sure for most people, this is all, you just want something that looks nice. You're not trying to shoot Avengers number two. You're not trying to go out and be the next Quentin Tarantino and make a short film or some film that's gonna win an Oscar. You just wanna record your content, look good doing it, and you want the sound quality to be good. Another reason why I say go with just your phone is because with a regular camera, it's heavier, you have to have a, a tripod, you have to worry about a memory card, you have to worry about all these different things. And then if you're traveling, it's harder to just throw in a bag. With your phone, you don't need any extra equipment. The only thing you might need is a tripod. This, <laughs> I, I'm laughing because this, use your phone. Now, once you get the grasp of it and you start putting your content out, if you're not making money from your content, then I, I mean, why really, really spend it? Having a more expensive camera isn't gonna make your videos better you are what's going to make your videos better. So if you don't have really good content, then buying a $1,000 camera isn't gonna help the content. Nobody's gonna be like, oh, this is a Canon A7. So I know this is gonna be good. No, no one knows what you're shooting on. They just care if the content's good. Learn the things, really learn the things that your phone can do. Go on YouTube, look up different videos and functions that your phone can do, and then semi-master those. Once you semi-master those and you make a few videos, then maybe you'll maybe you'll feel like, hey, this is good enough, or I kind of do want to up up the quality just a little bit. But learn what your phone can do first before going out buying equipment that you might not even use, or you might not even understand how to use it, even after reading instructions and, and everything. It could just be overkill. So in closing, I will say the best video for 2023 is the phone that you are currently watching this on.